you know, God Galaxy 2 might be the only game launching client thingy that you need. Kinda. Let me show you this. So if you're not aware of uh, GOG and GOG Galaxy, it is uh, created by a certain studio called CD Projekt Red. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. They did something called The Witcher or they've got something called Cyberpunk coming up in like September or something. Um, and uh, yeah, Witcher, yes, you know, kind of a slightly unknown studio. And uh, yeah, they have the store here. And uh, yeah, you can just download it at GOG.com slash Galaxy. It's free. All the instructions are easy. Uh, use Google or whatever if you don't know where to find it. You should be able to know that. If you don't know that, then I'm shocked. It's very hot today as well, so I'm gonna have to probably uh, do some jump cuts. Uh, so yeah, once you've installed it and all that's done, you'll be presented with something that looks like this, obviously once you've added accounts and such. Let me show you uh, that real quickly. I go into the cogwheel here. I go into settings. You can see there's various features here. Loads of stuff. But one of the things you're interested in that makes this thing really cool is uh, integrations. There's a van going by. And you can see here I've got my whole bunch of stuff connected. So I've got Battle.net connected there, Bethesda, Epic Games Store, Origin, PlayStation Network, Rockstar, Steam, Uplay, Xbox Live, and GOG.com obviously has yeah, a bike going by now. Ah, oh, man, I'm trying to be a professional here. Why does no one respect the art? So uh, all of these are connected. You, just, uh, you can just search on here for an integration, type it in. Add it. All the, the um, prompts on the screen will tell you to ask for your login, password. I've done all that already. Don't need to show you that. It's elementary. Once you've got all of that in the integration section here, uh, the, your screen will look something like this, and it will show you things like uh, your different networks of uh, friends that's online. You see how I've got PSN friends that's online here, Steam one, Xbox. That's awesome. You see different games that have been added in the last what? That last? That's not. I haven't had. I haven't bought 364 games in the last month. This is still in beta, but it works really well. Um, but yeah, that's, yeah, we've got a lot of games. So you've got a total of 1,300 games, apparently. Uh, a couple of achievements and stuff over whatever last few, whenever, I'm not sure. This is in the recent tab, as you can see. So yeah. What's also cool about this, though, is that I can, like, search for a game. You know, it's like so many stores, so many different things. This can also launch your games as well from various launches and close those launches afterwards. I haven't used that feature, but I use it mainly organizing things so if i'm looking and i'm saying i want to buy a certain assassin's creed maybe i'm not sure what platform my own nose own nose on for instance so maybe i don't want uh you know the epic store version because there's no achievements or something i just type in assassin's creed and starts to bring out a whole bunch of lists of stuff as you can see here it's got suggestive uh suggestive um selections in as you type and it sees loads of stuff there you can see i own all these here and uh, sometimes the platform thing is like it selects one. Obviously, as it like now, obviously as it uh, gets more developed and it's less out, out more out of beta, I think you'll be able to just see all of the different um, places that you own it. So if I just click on there, uh, say, let's just click on two here. You can see I own it on Steam. I happen to also know I own this on UPlay. So once it's even more uh, complete, you'll see all of the places that you own it. Uh, we go back and uh, put in select the different ones. So our Unity here, the X one is showing as you play. I actually, have this on PlayStation. As you can see on the left, there it's showing uh, achievements from two years ago and four years ago. So uh, yeah, it's really awesome. You can see all that. You can kind of make sure you're not buying a duplicate game or know what options you have. If you want to buy a game on a certain platform, maybe because you want certain things, uh, and this does that. I feel like I'm literally leaking right now. Obviously, the, my brother doesn't have the Valhalla yet, but uh, yeah, you know. So yeah, that's that. There you have a. You can go and buy things as normal in the store, just like we've got Galaxy One, um, and all of the stuff that's here is optional. It's a very unintrusive um, approach that uh, CD Red Project have and the uh, the GOG ecosystem. So if you don't want all this kind of stuff, or you just want to put in uh, offline games and stuff like that, then you can do that as well, I suppose. Um, it's great to just keep track of where everything is, what you have, what you don't have. Run the games without um, opening all the different things separately and just doing your thing. I think it's a fantastic thing. A lot of you guys need to know about this if you don't. And I'm doing my little bit to make sure that more people know about it. 
So I've got Galaxy 2. There's a whole bunch of things I probably haven't covered. Let me know if you're curious about anything. If you have any other questions or concerns, what have you, but GOG and GOG Galaxy are good people, as well as the CD Projekt Red. We're looking forward to that Cyberpunk, and this will be a great way to uh, organize uh, your Cyberpunk activities, as well as all your other games, you know, including your recent list and what other people are playing around the world and keep track with your friends and everything else. It's all pretty cool. Hopefully nothing sensitive comes up as I click some of these here. Friends online says zero must mean for GOG specific, maybe I don't know. Shows all my recent achievements here, it's pretty damn cool. Awesome, I'm gonna stop this video now because I'm sweating. Oh, so hot. Oh, this YouTube life is so hardcore, man. Oh. <laughs>